Thank you so much for joining me today. Rafael here with Share Ed Studio. I've been getting a lot of questions about effective lifestyle images. What, what makes them effective and not effective? So I decided to make this really quick, um, I would say, little masterclass that you can take advantage of. Hopefully you learn something. So before um, I get into it, please subscribe. This is the only thing that motivates us to keep on going. Um, your subscription, we've gotten already like a hundred of them. So that's very, very nice of you. Thank you so much. I recommend this to any friends. So if they find value in it, you know, we can keep growing together. That's the idea, right? So let's right, jump into it. Um, so, you know, what makes a effective image? Right. The idea of the lifestyle images is to give you a lifestyle glimpse of the product. So if I'm using this cup, for example, right, you want to show that it's useful, that the lid is going to protect you from dripping the whole coffee on top of your computer. As well as lifestyle photos, you can target your demographic. Is it going to be a female demographic that's going to buy it? More male demographic, kids, female kids, male kids. Um, dogs, you know, what? who's going to buy it in the age range as well? Are they married? Are they not married? There's so many things you can answer with lifestyle photos. As well as like, if the customer understands the product more, he's less likely to return the product. This is huge because if you get a lot of returns, you know it's going to be bad for you, right? So the more answers you give them with less amount of text and more pictures or videos, the better. And as well as if the product is required, most of them are because you know humans are buying this. Use the model. It's the best way to to get that emotional connection with the possible buyer, right? So, you know, here are some stats. These stats are by Web Retailer. They're super accurate, and the idea is because you make that emotional connection. Once you have that emotional connection, it's just better. You'll get the buy most likely. You'll get the traffic and the conversion. So for example, let's look at um, this dark harness and this one, as you can see, has a model and this one doesn't, right? It's, I'm not saying this is bad, this is good, but when you add a model to it, it's just way better. You see, you feel the connection, she's happy, the dog's happy, you see the harness that looks good in the dog. Most likely this is gonna convert better than the one without a model. Why? Well, obviously, you can see, you can, possibly see yourself being in her position, right, in her shoes. Let's go with the next one. So, hand models. So you got one in use and the other one not in use, right? So this one's more feel like, oh, you can use this with the kitchen. For example, we use this for the, this kitchen example, but it can be anywhere, right? But here you can see, okay, somebody's using them, you can use it to cut onions, you can use it to cut um, your veggies, and you can use it if we have this picture somewhere else, obviously you can use it somewhere else. But it's having that, connection that automatically makes them understand that I can wear this. It's not strange to me. You make that connection. And well, sometimes you will have to use um, lifestyle images without a model, which is fine, which is great. But when you we use that image, what makes it effective is the environment. So for example, this sponge is an organic sponge. So what we did is that instead of saying it's made out of coconut, and it's made out of, you know, it's um, organic and all these things. No, we didn't, we didn't put this. We put it in other infographics, but with this one, what we did is that, you know, we placed it inside of a coconut, right? So it means that if there's a co connection to that coconut. We have the foam, means that it's a cleaning utensil. We have in the kitchen, we have plants in the background. We have plant assets. We have clean dishes. It's inside a kitchen, you see the water here. So this is the idea that makes an effective image. It tells a story. If you tell the story, most likely you're gonna get the conversion. You're definitely gonna get the click with good images, but clicks are not enough, you need that conversion. And the only way to showcase that connection is with that emotional support from the images, all right? Um, another thing that I really want to um, make sure that you understand is like, it doesn't matter the amount of PPC that you invest in, you can get all the traffic, but I've had clients who have reached out to me like, hey, I'm getting so much traffic, but we're not getting any conversions. Why is this? Well, your pictures and videos are not telling the story which is bad. So, you know, having those type of photos, lifestyle, which are organic, are, I would say, expensive. Um, there's a model involved, there's a set, props, there's a lot of things that go into it, right? So sometimes you just wanna Photoshop it if it's not a high ticket product, like this Rathana, for example, or these sponges, right? You could get away with this three years ago, surely. But now the problem is that Amazon is so, so competitive and so demanding. And after COVID, buyers are more trained or they're more aware of what they're gonna buy 
Meaning that if they see this, automatically their subconscious thinks like, oh, this is bad. They didn't even take care of you know their aesthetics. So the content of the listing equals the quality of the product. And the content is the listing. Doesn't matter what product you have. If your listing is not selling, it's not telling the story of that product, your product automatically, buyers think it's bad. So for example, this one, this is Photoshopped. We actually Photoshopped this to, um, to this picture. This picture comes without this, um, without this. But as you can see, what makes it effective is we match the lighting. So as you can see, the key lights here, shadows here, as well as key lights here, and shadows are here. This makes a good image, Photoshopped image. Not all the products can be Photoshopped, unfortunately. Um, and high ticket products, I would highly recommend that you don't Photoshop them. So, should I use genuine or Photoshop lifestyle images? Again, it depends. You have to do a benchmark analysis before that. If it's a high ticket item, I really don't recommend you do it. For example, um, supplements. And if it's an item, a product that is gonna go inside of a human body, uh, a dog's, uh, it's gonna go in plants, babies, babies, and specifically babies are super, super delicate with that. Um, parents, you know, it's their baby, so they want to get as best of it as possible. So anything that requires high level of trust or is a high ticket item, I would steer away from Photoshop lifestyle. I would go, you know, doing it um, organic. If you don't have the budget, try to make the budget for it. If not, you know, you're spending all this money sourcing it from wherever you're gonna source it, shipping it, packaging, all these things which are very expensive. And then you're gonna spend, what, a thousand in marketing? Like, in, not even marketing, in just content? Like, that's not gonna cut it, unfortunately, in this day and age. So yeah, so, you know, how to create them? Very basic. Do your benchmark analysis, extremely important. You find out who your competitors are, um, what are they doing, and as well as look for inspiration. Brands outside of Amazon that you can relate to, brands that you just inspire. Like, a big inspiration for me is Apple. Um, I always look for Apple, at Apple for inspiration. and see how you can implement that into the, into your brand obviously you know determine if your product needs a model most likely they will so if it needs a model make sure that you know you pick the right model if you're using a product that's um you know 80 percent of the of the population that's going to buy of the buyers are females use most likely a female model um look for the age for the range age range and look a model that you know fits that criteria. Very important. That's why you see brands like um, Victoria's Secret, right? They cancel their their um, their show that's been on for like 2002, if I'm not mistaken, and they have a new set of models. Why? Because the industry changes, and it's okay. That's what we have to do. We have to adapt. If not, you become the blockbuster. Remember blockbuster? Nobody knows now, right? You ask a kid who's, who's blockbuster, they have no idea. Now they know Netflix. Yeah. Things like that. So, you know, bring your product to the spotlight. Yeah, Very important. Yeah, so. And stand out. So I just want to show you something really quick as well, which is the focus of the image. So it, it's not just having um, that product in the image as well as having showcasing the image itself. For example, here we see that this is the focus of the product. Look how everything else stands out. Just the product stands out. And everything is to the product. And using models per se by itself, it's not the most effective thing only. We also have to use the model in an effective way. So for example, here, what are we selling here? We don't really know. Like, is she just enjoying her coffee? Is she in a coffee shop? What, what are we doing here? Here, we're selling the belt. So we have her in the gym. So using the model effectively in your environment is very important. Not just use a model, but the, every image has to tell a story. There has to be a reason behind that image. How can you help increase your sales with lifestyle image? Well, you have to make them relatable, appealing, and interesting, right? You have to target your customer. And you can read all this and all that data is great and it's amazing, but remember, the buying process is an emotional process, okay? If you're looking for something on Amazon, you're not gonna go into Amazon. It's less likely that you go into Amazon and be like, oh, what should I buy today? No, when you go into Amazon, you already know what you wanna buy. Let's just say, um, Ziploc bags, but you want a specific type of Ziploc bags, and maybe you have, you know, you, you're very conscious about the environment because it's plastic, and you want reusable Ziploc bags. So you want that product to tell you, you that story that you're doing a good deed for that Ziploc bag. So if I find a listing that I interact with it, 
in the more of an emotional level. The pricing is not really gonna match that much, to be honest, matter that much. Um, I'm gonna buy it because, excuse me, I believe in the product. So yes, thank you so much for watching you guys. Uh, remember that you can subscribe, you can schedule a call with me or any of my team um, just by scanning this code or visiting us or just send us an email or just visit the website at sharestudio.com. Please remember to follow. Most importantly, subscribe. This really means a lot to us. We put a lot of effort into doing all this content for you guys, um, all of my team. Huge shout out to all of my team. Louis, Mari, Emery, um, Andres, Alejandra, putting a lot of love into this and we would love if you guys could subscribe to, to our channel. And until next time, remember, leave any comments that you have down below in the comment section. Um, one of our team members is surely gonna reply as soon as possible. So bye.